Hi guys, it's Ouch for Mono. How's everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. Today I am reviewing the latest fragrance to come from Zoologist. It is Koala. Zoologist have been on a roll recently. I mean, really. We had B at the end of last year, then we recently had Sloth and the new reincarnation of Bat, and now we have Koala. I am not complaining. This is, I, don't get me twisted. I'm not complaining. This Karen does not want to see your manager. I actually love it. Keep them coming. So this one is created by the guy that is behind Baruti Perfumes. I'm very familiar with his fragrances. His name is Spiros Drosopoulos. And I was thinking that this fragrance might actually be kind of in his style. He's, he makes very, very strong, bold perfumes. So the first thing I'm gonna say is, it is not his style, and that was surprising and a pleasant surprise. Also something to note, this fragrance at the moment is only available directly through Zoologist. You have to go directly through their website um, until further notice. So, I mean, you know, support the brand. And uh, yeah, let's just talk about the perfume. So Koala, the cute little fuzzy marsupial from, it is a marsupial, right? I think it's a marsupial. The marsupial that clings to the trees and eats eucalyptus and spreads its musky scent around. Well, the male ones do anyway. This one's super cute. He's in his little cricket clothes because obviously Australia, cricket reference. Very, very cute, very cute animal. And the fragrance reflects that. It's kind of cute. So as always with Zoologist reviews, I will give you their description. It says, a cloak of rich green velvet sweeps across an Aus the Australian horizon. The majestic eucalypt forest flattering every curve of the undulating landscape. I went to Australia and I didn't get to see a koala. That kind of sucked. Tucked high in the crook of a tree, the koala is oblivious to the mesmerizing views. It would rather curl into a ball and sleep off a feast of oily eucalyptus, the aromatic leaves that sustain it. Despite their sleepy demeanor, and friendly expression, koalas are territorial creatures. Males mark the soaring trunks with their musk, establishing their dominance. Feisty little fairy beasts. So here are the notes. The top notes are eucalyptus, of course, menthol honey gumdrops, and mimosa. Ooh. The heart notes are black tea, geranium, incense, spices, and vetiver. And the base notes are musk, amber, oak moss, vanilla, and sandalwood. So how does this one smell? I've got my little thing. It's actually green, so I'm not going to put it anywhere near the green screen. I'll put it in front of my face. So I'm going to spray it wet on this hand, as usual. So the first thing I'll say is, if you, like me, were slightly concerned about this one, that it was going to be overly camphorous, overly menthol, that you were going to walk around smelling like some sort of cough sweet, that was my biggest concern, because I know that when zoologists want to push a boundary, they really do push a boundary. And Eucalyptus isn't one of the easiest things to wear, I think, or to put in a perfume, I wouldn't say, because, I mean, it's not unpleasant, but you don't want to walk around smelling like you've rubbed Vicks vapor rub or like a menthol all over you. So I was concerned about that. So I firstly want to say, fear not. It does not smell like that for a long time. So the first time I tried this, I actually did a weird thing where, because it's hot in London at the moment, we have a fan in our room. I actually sprayed this onto my hand and then outstretched my arm and let the fan blow it towards me to get the impression of what it's like in the air. But I will say, the opening does have the eucalyptus menthol thing, but it's very, very short-lived on my skin. It is it's almost not even a minute long, and it's only really apparent when it's up close. It's already gone. I just sprayed it wet. I'm going to respray it just so I can get it. It's already, it disappears so quickly, which I'm, that is, I'm thankful for that. Really, really thankful. So the opening is a leafy, mentholated, camphorous type smell that you would expect from something that has a top note of eucalyptus. But it's just that, a top note and a fleeting one at that. What surprised me immediately about this fragrance is the main star of the show, which is musk. And it's a white musk to be precise. Zoologists are known for using kind of dark musks in a lot of their fragrances. Apart from dragonfly, there's a lot of white musk in dragonfly, which was noticeable. So think of the white musk that's in dragonfly if you smelled it. If not, it makes the entire fragrance light and clean and approachable and airy. So 
Super mentholated blast at first, but super short lived, which makes way for a big white mask. Oh, it's really, really pretty. When it starts to dry, I get cinnamon. It says that there's spices here, but it doesn't say which ones. You can definitely smell the kind of sting and bite of cinnamon, but the white musk in this, being the main player, blankets everything. It really makes everything soft, tender, and a little bit fluttery, and it's really surprising. I was so surprised that the white musk was gonna be that prominent, but it works. So the cinnamon, while being prominent doesn't overtake and what I can also smell when after this initial blast is something that smells like a gentle herbal mint tea. It's like if you took a, a gently herbal mint tea drink and then added some drops of white musk to it just to fluff it up a little bit. Really unexpected and I didn't, I, it's just I really like it, it's really cool. <laughs> the overall feeling of this fragrance to me is something a little bit throwback, it's a little bit vintage smelling, and it's not the first time zoologists have done that. They did it with uh, Civet, and they did it with Nightingale, Nightingale being one of my top three from zoologists ever. So the throwback of this one, it almost feels like it's a nod to a barbershop fougere, or like a, a twist on a classic barbershop fougere but softened around the edges by this white mask so it does have a something of a, a vintage feeling to it but only gently everything in, in here is gentle and soft and fuzzy like a koala. koala, koala, koala. I wanted to talk about the honey menthol gumdrops um, or is that what it is? menthol honey gumdrops Potato, potato. I wouldn't say that it's anything obviously candy-like, like a gumdrop, but you do get, there is a smooth sweetness to it that's very subdued and in the background. The greener, more aromatic and um, I guess more bracing type notes are left to shine more than anything super sweet. It's never really super sweet, I would say it's semi-sweet. It's only the last couple of wearings that I've really noticed the cinnamon because I was really focused on the musk for the most part, but the cinnamon is definitely there. So if that's a note of death for you, have a little thing, have a little word with yourself. But like I said, it's not, it's not too, too crazy cinnamon. Going into the dry down, a lot of the greener elements back off. The musk is still there, still ever present, and this is where you descend into the woody territory. Again, very soft. This is sandalwood here. There's a touch of amber, and oak moss is powdery as well, so the whole thing is flowy and gentle and transitions really, really nicely. So, talking about performance, this one I can smell it really strongly on me for at least three hours, and then after that, it really draws in close. That koala is just hugging around your neck and uh, keeping you company. So if you're one of those people that like super strong fragrances, and zoologists are kind of known for that, they do have some gentler options in their repertoire, and koala is definitely one of them. It kind of reminds me of the performance of Chameleon, where it's big at first for a couple of hours and then most of the wear length is going to be a close very gentle wafting kind of nuzzle the neck if you want to smell it kind of fragrance having said that the gentle part of it i sprayed it on myself at lunchtime yesterday i have tried it many times but yesterday i because i knew i was going to review today i thought i'm going to really take note i could still smell this on my neck mainly if i went like this though yeah i do the weirdest things people must think i'm crazy when they look at me like but I could still smell it on me in a very gentle way, at least seven or eight hours after. But if you want the beast mode thing or the beastly projection, I, I hate the word beast mode, but it's beast mode, but I said it anyway. Maybe look to something like T-Rex or moth or camel or rhino. If you like the quieter stuff, I would say dragonfly, chameleon, beaver, koala. Just a couple of suggestions. Anyway guys, that was my review of Koala, the latest fragrance to come from Zoologist. You guys know they are my favorite brand. Oh my gosh, I love them. And this is a great offering, really like it. So that's it. I'm Arch 410, trying to make the world smell better, one video at a time. See you guys soon, goodbye.